Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable video for you. I have a serious question for you guys. Are you tired of being broke, right? If you're tired of being broke and you're ready for a change financially in your life and you're ready to take your life to the next level, then make sure you stay on this video and watch the entire thing because I promise you will be blessed by this video, right? So if you ever ask your question, are you tired of being broke, right? You need to ask yourself this. Why am I broke, right? Once you get down to the why am I broke, I think your life will start to change, right? So the reason why you may be broke at this current point in your life or you may not have the life that you want to live right now is because you just have the lack of knowledge, right? No one ever told you certain things, right? You had the lack of guidance. No one ever really showed you the way, right? You didn't have a rich mentor or a rich family member to guide you through life, right? You had the lack of resources, right? You didn't have certain things and certain tools that you needed to get to the next level. But with this video, there's no more excuses. After this video, there's no more excuses on why you should be broken. I promise you that, right? It's time for you to start living. It's time for you to start getting that money. And I'm going to show you exactly how in this video, right? As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor at all. This is just something that I do, something that I would normally do, right? To make, you know, a change in my life, right? So you can either take this advice or you can leave it. It's completely up to you. But you will be blessed by this video. Let's get to it, right? So if I can show you. How in the next six to nine months, you can have around $40,000 plus in your pocket, would you be happy? I'm sure the answer probably is yes, right? Would you be happy wherever situation that you're in right now, whether you're working in a warehouse, whether you, you know, cut yards for a living and you're not making that much, whether you work at McDonald's, Sonic, Burger King, In-N-Out Burger, it doesn't matter. What I'm going to show you is going to change your life, right? So, let's get right into it. Now, one thing you need to understand about the rich people in this country is that the rich leverage OPM, which stands for other people's money, guys. Once you understand this, then the doors will start to open for you, right? You need to get the banks to pay you forty thousand to a hundred thousand plus dollars. Now you probably thinking, how in the heck do I do that? How do I get the banks to pay me that good money, money, money? Right? I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna tell you the wealthy secrets. Let's get to it. Right? You gotta get your credit fixed. Right? So if you're in the United States right now, now I'm not sure how it is for those of you who are watching overseas because I'm not sure if you guys have a credit score or how that works. But for my people that are watching on my channel that are in the United States, right, or Canada or wherever it is, get your credit right, right? Learn how to invest into some people that know what they're doing to fix your credit, guys. I listed a few people down here, right? We got, you can Google Vance, the credit doctor, right? You can YouTube CJ, the credit fixer. You can also YouTube J knows credit, YouTube rock like what? And YouTube, my boy, Neil Charles. These are people who can help you fix your credit, okay? This is very important on what I'm gonna show you next. The moment you get your credit fixed, guys, if you're 18 years old and you're watching or if you're 16 years old, 15 or 14 years old, you really need to listen to this. As you get older, get your credit right. Find out what your credit score is. Talk to your parents about it if you're younger. Figure out how you can raise your credit score, right? Because this is going to be vital in your success online and in your successful careers period you need your credit score to be serious okay so this is how you get the banks to pay you that good old money that money money right 
you apply for credit cards, right? Now, back in the day, my mother and, uh, you know, just people in general all across the world would say that credit cards are terrible. You listen to people like Dave Ramsey. They say, cut up your cards, stay away from them, all that kind of stuff, right? And this is all the stuff that I heard when I was growing up. So I never got a credit card until like last year, right? Didn't get one, was scared to touch one, uh, didn't want anything to do with it. And then I was wondering, hmm, how are the people that are, you know, wealthy, how are they using their credit cards? Because I know they have them because I've seen it. How are the wealthy people using their credit cards? And I need to study that because I'm tired of studying people that are broke trying to tell me what to do when they're not where I want to be in life. Right. So if you're listening to people who's not where you want to be, stop listening to them because nine times out of ten, they don't know what they're talking about. Right. So it's hard for someone to tell you, you know, uh, certain things to do when they don't really understand it themselves. Right. Most people have a consumer mindset. And what I mean by that is most people will use these credit cards to buy things that they don't necessarily need, like clothes and shoes and things that are not going to bring them value. Right. Or bring them more money. So the rich people, they use their credit cards to bring them more money. And I will explain further, right? So when you apply for credit cards, once you get your credit score, uh, your credit fixed, you'll be able to apply for multiple cards at once, right? So let's say you apply for the Freedom Unlimited. I have this card. It's a lovely card. Uh, and let's say you get, you know, off the back, you get $15,000, right? Boom, $15,000 in your pocket, just like that, right? Then you apply for a Discover It card. They give you $5,000. Boom. All right? Good money. Then you, you know, let's say you, you know, you try to get you a Navy Federal card. Uh, they usually give pretty high limits. You get $25,000. Wow. So let's say you were working at, you know, Taco Bell. You work at Taco Bell, right? You got your credit fixed. You paid. You saved your money up and you paid one of the credit people to fix your credit. And... You know, you got your credit fixed and you were able to apply for cards. Now, after after you got your credit fixed, let's say it took you about six to seven, eight months, right? Got you a nice credit score, nine credit scores in the sevens. You applied and you got $45,000 that quick. Wow. Why didn't anybody teach us this, right? We've been working our whole lives trying to get the money. And the banks would just really just give it to us. Now, the banks think we're stupid and they think that, you know, most of us are going to spend it on dumb stuff, which most of us have. But I'm going to show you how to spend money on dumb stuff and still make a lot of money, right? So let's take a look at this card right here. This card, you know, has 0% interest for 18 months, meaning this card will not accrue any interest for over a year and a half. Wow. Wow. Right. It also has three percent cash back and it also has reward points that I can use to get free flights. Wow. OK. OK. That's good stuff. So all these cards has its perks. Right. So let's go to the next slide. Right. So let's say, you know, you got your fifteen thousand dollar credit card. You know, you got your other ones, but you want to use the fifteen thousand dollars because it comes with a lot of perks. You know, it comes with some good stuff. Right. And let's say you want to take that fifteen thousand dollars and you want to plan a trip. You're like, you know what? Let me plan a trip. Now, typically, you know, it just depends on what you want to do, right? Now, I would advise if you're going to do something like this, make sure it's not around the time that you're trying to get a house or apply for something because your credit score in the process will drop, but it will rise again. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you how and why, right? So let's just, you know, let's get to the down to the gritty, right? So you want to hire a professional videographer. Uh, for the weekend, you're going to take a trip with a couple of your friends. They pretty much know what you know, so they're doing what you're doing. So you guys are all sitting on around $47,000 a piece, right? Everybody's sitting good, sitting nice. That's how it should be, right? Uh, So, yeah, you hire him. He costs about $1,000, right? And then plus his flight. So for the weekend, right? Let's say you want to take a trip to Miami, right? A round trip is going to cost you around where I'm from, where I'm at, to Miami cost me around $384 for a round trip. Beautiful Miami, right? Here's the strip at nighttime, colorful, beautiful. Here's the beach, lovely place, right? So 
let's say, you know, you wanted to do it big when you got down there. You got your $15,000 credit card, uh, you know, and you want to do it big, right? You want to, you just want to, you just want to kill it, right? Now, most people will say, man, what the heck are you doing, bro? You're going into debt over dumb stuff, right? Are we? <laughs> are we really? Let's say you got a plan, man. Let's say you come down here and you say, man, I'm going to... I'm going to get my videography. We're going to come down here, and we're going to turn up, man. We're going to have an amazing weekend. We're going to record so much footage uh, because, you know, let's say you want to be an influencer one day. Like, you want to be one of those YouTube influencers or Instagram influencers, and you see them traveling and doing all this stuff. You get where I'm going. So let's say, you know, you decide, like, hey, if I'm going to use this credit card, I'm going to use it for something that's going to make me money. So let's say you want to go big. You want to go 10,000 foot. Uh, 2000 square foot mansion Airbnb uh, in Miami, right? So let's click on this link and let's see what that's going to get you, right? Wow. Okay. So this is a beautiful mansion. Hold on. What's the cost on this thing? $2,600 per night. Most of the time, you're probably thinking like, never, I would never do that. But guess what? You got the money in your pocket. Why not, right? So Let's just take a look at this mansion. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Let's say your videographer, he bought his drone. He got his cameras. He got his mics, man. He's ready. He got you, got you ready to look all professional, uh, you know, to shoot some amazing, you know, uh, lifestyle videos, footage, all this good stuff, man. Look at this place. This is, what, 99 pictures of, uh, you know, beautiful, you know, rooms and all that kind of stuff, right? So let's say I'm just going to fly through these right quick. You know, it's, it's a ton of them, right? You get all kind of lifestyle stuff, right? So I can exit out of that. Let me go back here, right? So after you get your, you know, let's say you want to stay here for two nights. So it's going to cost you around $5,200, right? 2600 times two, yeah, right? Let's say, hey, you're in Miami, man. So we're going to be kicking it. You and your, your friends. So you're like, yo, I want to do... Uh, a Lambo or Ferrari, you trying to figure out which one you want to do for the for the uh, for two days. Let's say you want to rent them out for two days, cost you about twelve hundred dollars per day. So you know you're looking at a cool little amount. Uh, but gay hey, hey, you got the money again. It's in your pocket. You can swipe that card, and guess what? You can have your Lambo or Ferrari or whatever it is, right? And you probably thinking, oh, this dude is crazy. Why would you tell anybody to do that? <laughs> this is what's been going on, guys. And this is what you probably failed to realize. This is what a lot of people did not tell you about, right? And when I found out being around people who are, who are making money and being around people who are making seven figures, when I found out about how they use their credit and their credit cards, it blew me away, right? It blew me away. And I'm like, wow, that's why we're in last place. That's why people who are online who are struggling are in last place because we've been taught wrong, right? And I've never seen anyone talk about this uh, until, you know, just a couple of, maybe a year and a half ago when they someone really went into detail about it. And then I, it, it made me research it even more, uh, which is, you know, how I got to this point. So let's say, you know, you wanted to do your Lambo. Let's say you do a Lambo, 1200 a day, right? Okay. And let's say, man, you, you're in Miami. So you're like, man, let's turn up. Let's kick it. Let's have a good time. You, you're with your friends. You know, everybody's making money. You, you guys are loving it. You know, everybody got their credit right. Everybody got about $45,000 in credit. Yeah, we're going to enjoy ourselves. So let's say you want to swim with the dolphins. You want to go to the mall. Uh, you want to fly uh, the helicopter around Miami. And believe it or not, it says co this costs like a hundred dollars a person. When you go to Miami, they'll give you a, a helicopter tour around Miami for like a hundred dollars a person, right? So you got that money. Uh, let's say you want the nightlife, you hit the club or whatever. Depending, you know, a lot of older folks probably not into this, but this is just an example of what you could do with the money. Uh, some of you may have other things that you would do with it, you know. But I'm just giving you an example of the kind of lifestyle that you can live by just being a regular person, right? Uh, and then. Let's say you want to rent out the jet skis. Boom. You rent those out. Uh, you're good to go. You're having a good time. You go get some food, right? So that's around $3,600 just for all of this, right? Man, right? So that's the end of the weekend, man. Your, your credit your credit limit was $15,000 off your credit card, right? Uh, the video guy cost around $1,300 because it was $1,000 for him to, to shoot over the weekend and then $384 for his plane ticket. 
Uh, your round trip ticket was three eighty four, right? Uh, Airbnb mansion uh, was twenty six hundred for two nights, so that's fifty two hundred. The Lambo was twenty four hundred dollars. Fun and kicking it was about three thousand six hundred thirty two dollars. So total for the weekend, off of your credit card, you spent thirteen thousand dollars. What in the <laughs> what? Now, why would, what, Jeremy, why would you even advise somebody to do some dumb stuff like this? Like, why would you even advise somebody to, okay, now, is this dumb? Not at all, right? If you know what you're doing, this could actually, this could actually turn into a six-figure business, right? And I've been seeing it done over and over and over and over again, right? So, mind you, yeah, you had a great time, right? Just keep in mind that you got this whole thing documented, not just by some, you know, uh, guy who just picked up a camera. I'm talking about you got a professional videographer to follow you and get cinematic uh, footage of you flying the drone over your Lambo while you're riding down the street. The drone's flying over it. It's flying over the ocean. It's getting you, you know, in the helicopter. You got all kinds of stuff. You're walking up. You you planned it out. Uh, you're doing a bunch of different videos on, you know, lifestyle and, and entrepreneurship, uh, different business opportunities. You're making all of these different videos for these different days, right? And, and, and this is something that you could actually put together and and do other things with and I'll, I'll get into that later right <laughs> i'll get into that later right but now that you're you thirteen thousand dollars in the hole man you're thirteen thousand dollars in the hole right and your credit card limit is fifteen thousand so you're like man i'm thirteen thousand dollars in debt off of my credit card and i gotta pay this back right not a problem right what the rich listen guys oh my god listen what the rich understand is they understand how to use debt, right, to live a certain lifestyle. And then they learn how to pay it down fast so that they can continue to use debt or the bank's money, right, other people's money, continue to use it to make them even richer. Guys, this is the part that a lot of us been missing, right? A lot of us are scared of debt. We're so scared of it. I don't want any of it, right? That's the problem, okay? Now, there's a such thing as good debt and bad debt, right? Good debt is debt that makes you money. Bad debt is debt that takes money out of your pocket, and you never. it's harder for you to pay down bad debt because you don't have any assets tied to it, right? So, in this equation, what would be the asset? Right, the asset would be the video and the footage that we got that we can now use, right, to bring in more income, right? Because we know we live in the social media age, right? And if you're driving around in Lambos and Ferraris and taking pictures with Bentleys and mansions and you got all this advertising going, right? People are gonna contact you. We know that because we see it all the time. Correct? Correct. Right? So. Now you got $13,000 $13, in the hole, right? So this method is called velocity banking. <clears throat> the whole idea behind velocity banking is showing you how to pay down debt faster, right, by putting your income inside of your credit card, right? Most people, they would see the credit line as a debt, right? And they would say, well, I got two bills. I got my expenses, which is money that I pay for my bills in my house, right? And then I got a credit card bill. I don't I don't look at a credit card as a bill anymore. I use it my credit card as a checking and a savings account, right? This is just me. Now there's other people who do this as well because it's velocity banking, but I use my credit card now as a checking and savings account. So what do I mean by that, right? So let's say your income, <clears throat> what you make at your job or whatever, is around five thousand dollars, right? That's what you make per month, okay? Now, that could be you and your wife, you and a girlfriend, or just you by yourself, okay? Your expenses is $3,000. That means your bill, your cable bill, rent, mortgage, whatever it is, right? That's your expenses. All your bills comes out to about $3,000, right? So your cash flow, which is money that's left over after you pay your bills, is $2,000, right? So your minimum monthly payment on the card, <clears throat> the minimum is $350, $350 a month, right? So instead of paying this, what we're going to do 
take this whole 5000 put it right on the credit card. Now, you're probably like, what the heck, bro? If I put the 5000 on the card, then I can't pay my bills. But yes, you can, right? <clears throat> How is that? When you put the 5000 on the card, right, the money becomes available again. So then you can then use the money to pay your bills, right? Right. Okay, so you put 5000 in, your balance drops to $8,000, right? That quick. But you got to take 3000 out because you got bills to pay at the house. So you take 3000 out and the balance goes back to 11 k right? You take, you get paid again, right? You take 5000 out, the balance goes down to 6000 right? Then you got to pay your bills again, that 3000 so it goes back up to 9000 <clears throat> When you get paid again, you put 5000 in. It, the balance goes down to 4000 right? You got to take out your expenses, your bills, right? So the balance goes back to 7000 right? So then, again, 5000 3000 5000 in, down to zero, 3000 for your expenses. 5,000 balance paid off, right? So how many months was that, right? One month, two month, three month, four month, five month, six months. It took you six months to pay off $13,000, just six months, guys, right? Pay it off in six months. Wow. See how, see how uh, quick that was, right? And remember, this is a 0% interest card for 18 months, right? So that was only six months out of 18, right? <clears throat> now that you paid this off, you now have $15,000 available again, the whole $15,000. So did you really spend $13,000? No, because you paid yourself back, right? You paid yourself $13,000 back, and now you have your $15,000 credit, full credit limit. So did you really spend any money technically you didn't because you still have it right y'all see how that works do you see how that works right now that money is available to for you again right not only is that fifteen thousand dollars available for you again now you still have all this footage that you're gonna he's gonna put together you're gonna be able to put out so now that you know that it takes you six months to pay off thirteen thousand guess what you can do use that thirteen thousand dollars again right? You know it's going to take you six months. Okay, cool. So, you know, your your interest rate kicks in in 18 months. You only did six. Another six is only 12, right? So guess what? Let's use that 13000 for something else. What could we use it for, right? Oh, let's say, you know, we want to flip cars. Let's say you just wanted to flip a car, right? You wanted to buy a car, uh, put some extra stuff into it, sell it. <clears throat> right here, you got a 2011 BMW eleven thousand dollars right you can take that money off that card go buy it or buy it off the card right go buy it looks good if you wanted to paint it paint it because you still got a little room till you get to thirteen thousand put an extra you know two thousand in there whatever you want to do to get it you know cosmetically right get it looking good and and, and everything and then sell it for fourteen fifteen thousand right or you could take that Twelve thousand, right? Uh, thirteen thousand, really? Uh, and buy a, a mobile home, All right? You can buy this mobile home right here for twelve thousand dollars. And guess what you would do with that? You would take another thousand, do a, a paint job uh, on the outside of it, because the inside I already looked at the inside looks really good on there. And then you would move somebody in, and now you're a landlord. Now they're paying you rent every single month, right? all the time or you can buy a piece of land for twelve thousand uh, dollars a piece of land right someone could build a house here a store wherever they whatever they want to do and you can sell that right or you can rent it out to somebody easy right so all of this came from you getting your credit fixed right not only <coughs> excuse me not only do you have assets now but now you have all these different credit lines 
that you can now use to fund other things, right? So just to give you guys a few references, and this is just a small amount, right? <clears throat> Let me go to Wesley 303, right? I was struggling and let me show you. So let me go to 303, right? So you guys can hear this. Listen. Once you hear this. I'm showing you exactly what I did. Like I took so many risks. It was a time I couldn't even pay my bills, but I got a credit card and I used it for business expenses, okay? Did you hear that? He got a credit card. This guy's a millionaire, by the way. You can look him up. Wesley, billion dollar virgin, right? He has a ton of videos. But he used his credit card for business expenses, guys. Doing business, right? Let me go here uh, to the next video. 232 is what I need to be on. Where is right? the best place so to get... So I want you guys to, to, to listen to this, right? Because this is what you guys have been missing out on, right? If you ever wanted the money to be able to do CPA marketing or fund your businesses or whatever, this is the stuff that you need to win, right? So what was this one? It said uh, 232, right? So let's go here to 232, and I want you guys to listen up to this. Insane stuff, right? So I'm going to just go to 230. Just so you guys can hear. Listen. One on one coaching clients, we always want to try to get them access to at least a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars in capital in the form of revolving credit cards. Okay. Now the reason we like revolving credit cards is because when you have uh, revolving capital, and credit cards are all revolving. When you have revolving capital, once you use it, pay it back. It's available again. So let's say you have a hundred thousand in revolving credit lines. You only need to use 50K of it. Once you use that 50,000, invest into that property, and then you go out, refinance that property, or you sell that property, you now are able to pay back into that 50,000. You now have $100,000 worth of capital again, but then more importantly, you can go to the bank and ask for a credit limit increase, and now that 100,000 turns into 200,000 because I'm always gonna ask for two to three times of whatever my current limits are. That's a, a, a credit strategy. So, Did you guys hear that? Right? Using credit cards to get properties. Right? And as you can see in, in this example, he knows how to get 100K to 200K revolving credit. Now, this is on the business credit side. Right? But it's still credit cards. So, guys, understand the power in credit cards right and how you can fund your lifestyle and still pay it down quickly right so what he does in this example is he'll use a credit card to buy a house he'll refinance the house and pay the credit card off right it's crazy the kind of stuff that you guys can do with this but that's not all so let's go to the next person right let's go to latanya uh it's uh 2355 right so it was uh 23 was it 55 yeah let me let me go up just a little bit listen to this your credit to be a home buyer or a car buyer start using your credit to create cash flow did you hear that start using credit cards and and credit history and it's one other thing to purchase uh i don't care if you want to wait till the stock market crash and you want to purchase stocks right it does it doesn't matter to me what you if you know about cryptocurrency you don't have the capital to invest use this strategy to invest did you hear what she just said if you don't have the money use these credit cards to invest guys this is not a game. Like, this is your way out, okay? If you ever struggled before online and you never had the money to run the kind of ads that you wanted to, this is your way out. Use the bank's money to do what you need to do and make more money off of it, guys. That's all I'm trying to tell you. 
Easy, easy, guys. All right, let's go to the next person, Robert Kiyosaki. Rich dad, poor dad. Let's go to him and see what he has to say. Right at uh, three twenty. So let me let me skip ahead. Let's go to around three nineteen. Listen. It was a little beachfront condo right on the beach in Maui. Nice place. Everybody wanted to live there. The property was in foreclosure. And I walked in there and I said, how much is a one bedroom condominium? The guy says, I already, I already knew the numbers, $18,000. I said, how much is the down payment? He says, 10%. I said, can I put it on a credit card? He says, yes, you can. And did you hear that? <laughs> I know y'all heard that. Robert Kiyosaki, the guy who wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad, used a credit card, right, to buy a real estate house. And that was his very first house. Now he owns thousands of real estate properties. But it all started because he bought his first one with a credit card, guys. So the problem with, with what we were learning about credit cards, what they were evil and they were bad, was is actually something that has used been used to elevate someone else's life, right? So this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about wealth, guys, and using this money. So for instance, if you wanted to use, you know, that thirteen thousand that we talked about to run a Facebook ad, imagine the kind of traffic you're going to get, or a Google ad. 13,000 on a YouTube ad, right? Imagine how many people are going to see your face and, and imagine how fast you will become an influencer. This is what you guys have been missing out on. Easy money, right? So let's go to my last one before I wrap this up. 340. You need to understand that everything you do at the poker table conveys in. All right, let's go to 340. Let me uh mute this. And I'm going to show you guys for the last time, the last one. So three, I'm going to go around 338, right? 339. Let me back up just a little bit. Listen. And um, I'm telling you, when they understand how powerful that is, th th this is how powerful credit is. They don't teach it. Facts. They're not teaching it in schools on purpose. They're not teaching it. At, listen, there is that, there's no bank. That's sitting people down and say, listen, this is how credit works. So you can get approved for our products. They're not going to do that. Do you hear what he just said? <laughs> That's how powerful credit is, right? If, if they told us how powerful it was and what we could have done with the credit that we were given, it wouldn't be a lot of people that are in credit card debt. It'll be a lot of millionaires, right? Because... If, if everybody knew how to use their credit cards appropriately, right, to gain wealth, to buy assets, and to do a lot of certain things, it'll be too many millionaires, right? But now I'm giving you guys the game, and I'm telling you what you can do. I'm telling you, literally, you guys can live a lifestyle, right, a lifestyle that you want, right? Let's go back to the lifestyle, right? I'm telling you guys that you guys can live, have a good time, enjoy a, a nice vacation without having to worry, right? Once you know, listen guys, once you know how long it takes you to pay something down, that's how long it's always going to take you to pay it down. So you can constantly use that money. So for instance, let's say you 13,000 is just a little too much for you and you're like, "Man, I just want to spend like 5 or 6,000 on a vacation or or you just want to spend five or six thousand on an asset or something that's going to make you more money. You don't want to go too high off the back because uh, it makes you a little nervous. And you, let's say you just want to do five or four K, right? That will take you even less to pay down. So let's say you can pay down four K in two months. So you can always use four K for a thousand dollars, right? And you could always use that to purchase assets because you know you can pay it down quickly, right? And so. When you when you have that kind of power, right? It takes you six months to pay down thirteen thousand. Well, let's see. If anything comes up in that price range of ten thousand, I can go ahead and purchase it, right? And resell it or purchase it as an investment, and I can win with it. I can make more money. This is how you go from working at McDonald's and in six to nine months, right, living an amazing lifestyle.
right? Like this. And people are wondering, like, what the heck are you doing? What have you did? What did you do different? You're driving Lambos now? You're driving Ferraris now? Like, what's going on? What are you doing? It's because you learn how to leverage the bank's money to live a lifestyle and to do certain things that the, the average person wouldn't be able to do, guys. With that being said, that is the end of this video. Hopefully, this video spoke to you. It's so much more I couldn't even go into because this video would have been way too long. But hopefully, man, that really spoke to you and it makes you want to get your credit right. Hit up some of these people, right? Hit up some of these guys. Get your credit fixed. Talk to them about trade lines, right? Talk to them about authorized users and how you can, you know, add, you know, uh, you can be added to your grandma's or your mother's uh, credit card and instantly boost you to the 700s. Ask these guys about this stuff or just watch some of their videos, right? Get your credit right, right? Then go apply for some cards, okay? Get you some money. Get you get you about 45,000, 45, 50,000, 100,000, and, and have you a plan and go out there and crush it. If your plan is to open up businesses with this money, go do it. You know, study the study credit cards, study the game, study how it works, and you will live an amazing life in the next six to nine months. Literally. I'm telling you. Credit is lit. All right. Other than that, man, I am out of here. I will see you guys later. If you made it to the end of this video, comment below. Uh, if you guys need anything else, you like these kind of videos, let me know. I'll put some more together, man. Other than that, peace.